Greetings from the past, fellow time travelers. I am the Sporkinator, and welcome back to Let's Play Max Troop, my solo playthrough of Goof Troop as Max. Now, you must be wondering why the heck we're on this level. Didn't we already beat this one? Yes, we did, but there is a room I forgot to show you guys, so I thought I'd do that real quick right now. This is actually a completely separate playthrough. I had to beat the first two levels just to get here, so I must think it's worth it, or something. Yeah, I did not come this way last time. It was completely optional, because there was only a, a couple bonuses or whatever that I missed, like lives and stuff. I think that's the only thing you can get is, like, lives and continues. But yeah, if we pick up the key in here and enter this room, there's bats or something in here. Ouch. That hurt. So once we get them out of our way, I think all we get for this is a candle, a bell, and a continue. So I guess it wasn't really worth it. But if you were wondering what was here, now you know. And I guess it's... A it could be like slightly tricky to get here. Like, where was I? It was in the room with the uh, balls, because then you have to come back this way. And then continue the level as per usual. Yeah, I came here last time and showed what was behind the glass, so that's it. On to the next level. I already said my intro, right? Ah, screw it. Greetings from the past, fellow time travelers, and welcome back to Max Troop, my solo playthrough of Goof Troop as Max. In the last episode, we beat the castle level. And what lies beyond that? Stage four, of course. Ha! They think we're royalty, PJ! I kinda like being a pirate king. I'm afraid to press a button, because I think if I do, I'll skip the entire cutscene rather than just each piece of dialogue. Shh, Dad! They'll hear! <laughs> so apparently- oh yeah. Servants, more food! Being stuck in a whale sure makes you hungry! Ha! I can't believe I actually remember this dialogue. But yeah, now that that's over, we're ready to get started on stage four. Are you excited? I'm excited. Today's December 1st, so I guess Merry Christmas early. I don't know what I'm gonna do for my Christmas special this year, or if I'm even gonna bother with a, like, Christmas special this year. I know last year I did face cam, and I could bring that back. I don't know what I'll do. But this is happening right here and right now. We're playing stage four of Goof Troop as Max. And the music on this stage, honestly, I just find it kind of annoying. Like, I don't really appreciate it maybe as much as I should. But here we, of course, have a super complicated puzzle to take care of. We need to get all the star blocks onto the star places where the things go. It played a sound. Did you hear it? I tried to mimic it, but I did a, a, an absolutely horrible job. But yeah, we went in there, solved that puzzle, and it opened the door at the top of this room. So now we're free to continue properly. Now the funny thing about this level is that rooms will appear to repeat, like this one. You will see us come to a room that looks like, oh crap, I need, I need to not kill that guy. We will actually see a room He killed him, no, I don't need him to kill him, I need that guy to pass me barrels, like really. Ouch, that hurt. I think I just lost health for that, I'm not sure. There we go, because I need these frogs out of my way, and normally I could get them out of the way with the grappling hook. But you don't get to carry items from previous levels over into the next level, so every time you start another stage, it's uh, starting over from scratch. Sir, can you pass me another barrel, please? Thank you so much. Can I get that last one from you? That would be super handy, sir. Come on. Pass me the last barrel, bro. Thanks! You're too kind. Whoa, that guy caught it. <laughs> Ouch! Well, now what do I do? I'm screwed, aren't I? Oh, crap. Oh, crap! <laughs> no, sir, frog. No, sir. I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here! Whoa! That was close. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Oh, things are getting crazy. Whoa, okay, they, they're killing each other now. I made him drop his barrel. Ha ha. Ha ha! Ha ha! Hey man, I can play catch with you all day. Let's do this. Ha <laughs> ha Yeah, the red ones, they like to catch things and throw them back at you. Freaking smart Alex. Alright, alright, moving on. I am, by the way, using my new Super Nintendo gamepad. I believe I did get the unboxing video posted before this video. I don't know, because at this time they're both recorded, and neither one of them are posted, so there's no telling. Oh, I would like to get those two lives. So I'm going to analyze what is in this room here and see if I cannot figure out how to get an explosive block, because I think these will explode after a bit when you kick them. I think we actually saw these in the previous stage. No, not the previous level. The level before the previous level, the second level, stage two, we saw the exploding things. So how do thing? How do thing? I'm thinking here. Give me a moment. Because if I, if I kick this over and then down, it's just going to go all the way. But if I kick this over... I should probably kick this up, actually. I don't know. Shoot. 
I don't want to waste too much time on this, though. Oh, I've got it. I think I've got it. Oh, yeah, because we kick that over. That'll stop it. Oh, I needed to do this one. Okay, that'll do it. I can get my two extra lives that I desperately need because I got hit a quite a, I got hit quite a few times at the beginning of the stage, so this is gonna help us out a ton. That should put us at seven lives. All right, good, good. Yes. Oh gosh, it's ice physics time. One, and these are all times, so we have to go as fast as we can hitting them. I don't know if the order matters or not, but I'm all slippery. And okay, I got it somehow. I'll take it. No problem. No problem. Hello, sir. You die. Please, sir, may I have another? Thanks, pal. That door opened, but I am wondering what's in here. What? Oh. Okay, I have candles, so I can see where I'm going. There's probably enemies in here, so we gotta be careful. There's some fruit there. Yeah, see, there's an enemy there. Don't let him catch us by surprise. Okay. I'll take the fruit. A life. Okay, that was worth it. I'll continue, which I'm probably not gonna need, because let's be honest, I could just... I use a save state after I beat each stage, so let's be honest, I could just restore the, sa the save state again and start over that way. I could cheat, basically, and... Aw, oh, crap, lost all my fruit. But I have another life now, so I've got that going for me, which is nice. I regret going in there a little bit. Okay, so here's another one of the rooms that is going to repeat later. When you see this room again later, you need to not freak out because you think you've gone back or gotten lost, but the truth is you have not. The rooms are just simply identical. There's two of the exact same room in the game. So that is going to be a thing that is going to happen later. And boy, did that ever confuse me the first time I ever played this game on the SNES back in the day. Oh boy, me and my brother played it together. I don't know if I don't know if we beat the whole game together though. I can't remember. I know we played it like a little bit. I know we got to the castle level. See, this room we've already been to before, but it's repeating. So even though it looks the same, we need to not panic and run back. We need to just press on and carry on. Trust me, that's all we need to do here is ignore the fact that the room looks the same and keep going because that's what this stage is all about. It's all about confusing you. I don't know if the stages have names or not, but I would call this one Cave of Confusion or something. I'd make it alliterative just to be fun. Now there's two ways we can go here, and I don't know if it matters or if I have a choice here. I don't remember this stage too well. But going the other way might actually be optional. We may not even have to bother with that at all, and it might be one of those things that's easier when you actually play co-op, so I'm not sure. I just need to not get burned by the fire here. Need to be real careful, because I don't want to lose a life and have to walk all the way back. Well, it'll, yeah, it would teleport me back to the entrance of the room. We know that already. Oh, crap. Oh, oh, oh. Whew, got them all. I'm safe now. I may not even bother going back to see what was through the other way, because honestly, I don't care as long as I can get through the level, I suppose. So I've got a bell, which means I can distract them all. I wonder what we can do with this. Hmm. I don't suppose we could line them all up and kill them with one kick. That would be super awesome, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, this gamepad is solid. I love it. It's working perfectly. I, I have no trouble controlling my character, so all is well. All is well, my friends. I don't think this room repeats, but it does remind me of some of the other ones a little bit. You've got the... The red guy there throwing barrels, he's actually not a threat at all. You can just leave him alive. As long as you don't let him hit you with a barrel, he's no threat. Oh wait, no, you have to kill him to open the door. Never mind, I lied. Oh yeah, pass me that. Haha! -ha! What you gonna do? See, this room is repeating now. So you must think, oh no, we've been here before. We gotta go back. We went the wrong way. Nope, nope, nope. Like I said before, press on. Okay. That guy's gonna breathe fire. I, uh... Crap, I missed him. There we go. Ow! That's okay. It's okay. No need to panic. It's just one life out of eight. I had eight. Now I have seven. I can go bananas for bananas and cherries. And moving on. Oh gosh, it's the room with the bouncing boulders. Whatever will I do? Like, I don't know if you can really run through this. I, I suppose I could try. I got, already got hit once. That was a horrible idea. The idea is to let the boulders bounce over our head or whatever, or run under, underneath them, so I can't get too stupid here. I remember this used to be, like, the easiest room ever. I, I don't know if I ever got hit by the barrels when I was... Or by the rocks, rather, when I was playing before, but I did just now, so there's that. I really don't know. I'm trying to remember how this game went for me back when I played it, but a lot of the memories have faded. It's a real shame. 
But yeah, I am holding a Super Nintendo style gamepad in my hand right now as I play this and it feels great. So nostalgic and all that stuff. Okay, but seriously, I need to hit this guy with one more barrel or whatever to kill him because I don't want him in my way. He, he needs to die. Thank you. There we go. And I haven't gotten a grappling hook yet, so I don't have that to stun enemies. Okay, so this part is a lot easier in co-op. But, since we are by ourselves, we're just gonna have to manage by ourselves. This is actually... Like, I guess, like, in that other room where there was more than one way to go, I think it might have only been possible with co-op. But this one is, like, possible with either one. So this is- this might actually be my only choice since I'm playing by myself. But we have to kick that block and then run as fast as we can to hit it before it goes off. I guess we didn't have any problem with it because we're max and we can move fast. I think I did the same thing in my solo playthrough as Goofy, because I'm pretty sure I did not have a choice at that point. But in this room we have four switch plates and we must step on them all to open the door up above. But once again, I wonder what lies in the door to the left. I may have to... I may insist on exploring that before I move on. Kind of at a catch-22 here. The enemies have me trapped. Trying to escape. There we go. What's in here? Oh, this is really cool. We can ride the minecarts and kill the enemies. We're, we're totally safe while riding these. They can't hit us with swords or anything. So it makes you wonder, why are they even there? Oh well, what can you do? So what lies on the other side of this? Oh shoot, I feel like I'm going backwards at this point. No, no, I have a, I have a really bad feeling about that. I don't think I want to do that. I think coming here was a mistake. It's probably just like an alternate path that takes us to the same destination. So let's go where I'm supposed to go, which is up here. Good thing I have a candle, because there's a super complicated puzzle in here. And obviously when I say super complicated, I'm being sarcastic at this point. But it can be kind of hard in the dark if you've never done it before. So there's that. Okay, so this one right here is going to need to eventually go up and over to there, I think. I don't actually remember this puzzle all that well, but I think it's relatively straightforward and like, how do you say, ergonomic? Is that how I would describe this? I don't know. It's straightforward though, I think it's pretty easy. Cause I kick that over and where's it gonna go next? Downward or upward? Okay, upward is clearly a bad decision. <gasps> There's a grappling hook here! Okay, so I, w I want that in my first slot and the candle in the second slot. There we go, I'll do that. Because normally when you play co-op, you only have one slot per player, but when you play by yourself, obviously you, you can carry two items to compensate for the fact that you don't have another player with you. So that's always nice. Maybe I don't need this one at all. I could be wrong. If I, if I am wrong, I'm going to regret it. But how many more star tiles? Oh, there's only one more, and it's over here. Right above, right below where I, got the, where I put the bell down, obviously. Okay, so I need to figure out how to get a thing here. I should just walk directly left from it and see what I run into. Okay, I know exactly what I need to do now. I just walked the pattern. Okay, so obviously this goes down because, like I said before, up is a clearly bad decision because it ends up against the wall up there and then it's stuck. So, there we have it. I believe we have solved the puzzle. Yes, we have. We're good. Oh, boy. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I don't want to stand still too long. They might come and get me, huh? Oh, gosh. What do I do? What do I do? I don't know what to do. I want to play this safe, though. Oh, crap! No. Run past him. Run past everything. Oh, shoot! I have to kill them to open the door, don't I? Well, I done screwed myself over. Let's start this room over. I have to kill them all? Are you serious? How do I do it? I can't remember how I did this. This may actually be a point where I fail. We'll have to see what happens. Oh, gotcha! Oh, crap. There's no turning back now. There's no turning back now. We have to do this now. Okay, okay. Do I have the... I don't have the bell! That's the problem. I should probably just go back and get it. Ow, I'm losing so many lives. This is so bad. I apologize for my crappy gameplay. This is... No, this is just really, really bad. Okay. Run around them for a bit. Call him over this way. Don't let him kick that into me, otherwise I'll die for sure. Okay, come to me, my prey. Well, that got rid of, uh... 
One of them. I need them over here now. Come on! I'm sorry this has taken so long. Okay, sir. Sir? Come down here, sir. Come to me. Yes. No, stay here. Stay here. Get by the explosive. Get by the explosive. Yes! Finally! Got it! He's dead! Woo! We can move on now. Oh man, I forgot how hard this game was, I think. Because I was totally not expecting that to be that hard. Okay, so what do I need to do in here? What do? What do? I see it. I think I see it. Yeah. Because first we have to explode the thing. We don't have much time, so we've got to move quickly there. Quickly. Perfect. Okay. So I think I'm going to do this first. This next. And then if, if I'm predicting this correctly... Aha, yeah, I've got it. All right. Good, good. The game actually freezes for a moment there when you solve the puzzle as it unlocks this door here. Are we ready to fight the boss yet? Oh my gosh, we are. And this level's unique in that it... Or, um, well, the first level didn't have a boss key either, did it? But after getting a boss key in the previous levels, you think there's going to be one here, but there's not. You just have to kill all the enemies to open up the door to the boss, it would seem. And this is going to be a huge pain to do with Max, because each hit he does just knocks down half their health instead of killing them in one hit. So bear with me here. Oh, okay. I don't even care who I hit. As long as I hit someone, it's all good, because they all have to die. Haha. -ha. Oh, crap. Still three of them. Aha! I guess I don't really have to worry about the red one. He's just gonna stand there and be stupid. I want the green one. There we go. The red one is of no concern, good sir. Good sir. Hi. Okay, guys. Here it goes. Time for the boss. The boss of the stage four. The fourth stage. The... Wish the level had a name. Can I call it the forest temple? Nah, probably not. Ooh, it's a long green caterpillar! Okay, so things are gonna fall from the sky after the rumbling. Then we have to pick one up. He's gonna- where's he gonna- where's he gonna show up at? Ah, that He's red now! Okay, fascinating. Okay. This boss is a huge pain by yourself. This would be so much better in co-op where both of you could hit them at once. Like, eventually two caterpillars are gonna appear. Like, there is the green one and a red one. They're actually set, but it's not the same one like I was pretending to think it was. But yeah, we actually need to kill them both. So far I've not missed, which is really nice. I'm surprised I'm doing this well, because this is not one of my favorite bosses. This one always gave me trouble. So where are you at? There you are. Aha! I don't even know how many times I've hit each one, and I'm not going to bother to keep track. It doesn't really matter. You just have to keep hitting them until they're dead. I'm going to crush you, and I'm going to kill you until you're dead. Today! Look up Dragon's Ball P if you're wondering what that reference is. Basically, my reference is to like a parody of a parody, or maybe just a parody of Dragon Ball Z. But yeah, that's what that is. And I will warn you, it's slightly offensive if you're easily offended, but then again, I don't really care. Go ahead, be offended. I really don't care. But yeah, look that up. It's pretty funny in my opinion. Okay, so that last hit on the green one did not count, because I did not hit his head. That seems to be the important thing here. I'm not sure why, because when you hit his head, he loses a segment of his tail, so it seems kind of counterintuitive, if you ask me. Aha, intuitive! That's the word I was looking for earlier when trying to describe that one puzzle. It wasn't ergonomic. It was intuitive. That's what it was. Yeah, see, I hit him in the head, and he loses a segment of his tail, so what do? I don't know why you can't just hit his tail. Why does it matter? You'd think the head would be the hard part, and his body would be soft and vulnerable. That sounds really creepy. So yeah, this is a long, drawn-out boss fight. I don't really have a choice unless I get someone in co-op. Then maybe we could kill the boss twice as fast together. But, what? Oh man, I missed! The cool thing is, though, I'm actually not getting hit. So as long as I don't lose all my lives and die, we're good. I don't have to replay the level or some crap like that. And green one! Haha, -ha, gotcha. I feel like I should just focus on one of them, but I'll take whichever one appears near me, you know, because I can't really afford to be picky at this point. Oh, he's fast. I missed him. 
But see, this boss is easy. It just takes a while. Especially if you're horrible at it like I am. Whoa! I killed the red one. Okay, I'll take that. Oh, I got hit, but I had fruit, so it's all good. It's not really a loss of a life, although it technically is, in my opinion. Oh, I missed! Oh, I missed! I feel like he's gonna go down in one more hit. I can't be certain, though. I'll just stand right here. Ah, there you are. Aha, I win! Yes! Stage clear! Victory! Wow. 17 minutes. This is like an 18 minute video already. That's amazing. Well, I thank you guys for watching this episode of Let's Play Max Troop. I am the Sporkinator, and may we meet again in the future. Oh, 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 I forgot to mention, in the next episode of Let's Play Max Troop, we take on the final level. Yeah, goodbye for now.